Hi everybody, welcome to another evening of Lounge Academy here at WBIG TV, where, where you are the party and we're the party. And together we're Lounge Academy and we just we just have a cocktail party, a piano party, and uh, a bread party. A bread, bread party. Right now it's a bread party. Where's the camera? That, that one's on oh. right now. You, you could, the monitor's over here, Mike Beato. Oh, okay. So um, whatever's on the left side is, that's, that's is live live, live, and then the other side is, you can see we're joined by a lot of, well, nobody's admitted to being here yet. So <laughs> we don't admit to being here yet either. So people are this, ready. This is the beginning of the, the mics over there, so I gotta yell over here. But the mics on the piano way behind me, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm speaking up, welcoming everybody to Lounge Academy. As you can see, the guests have not arrived yet. Hey, How are we? Yeah. Well, you guys are the the, the thing, the, the heart and soul of Lounge wow. Academy. Well, you're the guys that make it happen. I guess I'm the president, so. Yeah. And then Mike Sarge, the president of WBIG yeah. TV. What does that make Mike? Mike's a, Just a hang around. Mike's a board member. Oh, wow. He's on you our right. something advisory board. Day. So we're just going to snack a little bit. And you guys know where everything is. Just relax and enjoy. Mm -hmm. Help yourselves. This bread is so good, you don't even need butter. I'm, try I'm okay, trying. Well, that's good because we don't have any. I'm trying to follow the advice of the late great Dixie Carter, who said that nobody should put butter on their bread. These are huge slaps. We need to live without butter or mayonnaise or cheese for the rest of our lives in order to be a good health. You know, it's oh. funny. It's funny you brought that up tonight, um, Ryan, because we have no butter, cheese, or mayonnaise. Well, we have lard. Oh. oh. For the donuts. Donut. Are you using lard for the donuts yet? Not yet. Is um, your plan? Yeah, I want to make uh, for at least one of our models. I want to try it for the 1901 Pan Am Midway model. Don't ring glaze donut. Oh, what about calling them Howard's donuts, like Paula's donuts, Howard's donuts? Is there any consideration for that? Um. I don't know. Should should there be? I mean, that could that could be another brand within the uh, framework. I think it's important to personalize it. Some of our market research has indicated that the City of Buffalo Department of or Caffeine Program, Department of Coffee and Donuts, mm -hmm. is the strongest brand, and there's an opportunity for sub brands. Okay, under that umbrella? Right. Okay. But okay, I'm I'm the Peter Peter Prince, too. Oh, man, oh, yeah, right. All right. I'd like to welcome Mary Coons Golden and Ann Apple to Lounge Academy. We're streaming live. So don't gossip about anybody that, you know. <laughs> oh, no. Unless you want it to get out. Right. Although no one's watching anyway. Oh, you never know. We so got a few comments. I can't read the comments from here, but I'm going to run over and read them in a minute. Since they're leaving them, first I think I'm going to make some Kool-Aid. Hello, you sound good. Huh? Jackie Walker says I can't hear anything, but you both look good. <laughs> Jackie Walker is watching us. Is the audio dead, or is she just having trouble making out what we're uh, I'm not sure. Can you hear us? Someone, please respond. Oh, it's delayed. There's like a 60 second delay, so. Oh, thank you, Jackie. Thanks for letting us know. She can't hear us. <laughs> All right. She's a true broadcasting professional. It's right next to the Donna place. Bernardino Vital, or is that Vitale? It says, Howdy, Howard, and Pretty Mary. <laughs> Hi, Donna. Hi, uh, Donna. We loved seeing Donna the other day. Yeah, we met Donna in person. But yeah, she came out in person. Mm -hmm. She's just as nice on in person as she is on Facebook. How long did you expect that? We're mentioning course you have to run for the booth. We're a we're alive by the way. Oh, I see that. Well you have to move close to your bed warm. We cannot 
across. It doesn't really. really it's not. The, I don't know exactly how you split it. The so, but, the, uh, but it's good for what it is. Sure. You can kind of split it. We have the leaven and the unleavened. Jack, we're live streaming. Oh, all right. I'm going to be hit myself. I don't care what you do, it's just don't say it in the morning. All right. Everyone's watching us eating now. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's like that. When they're feeding, it's quiet. Yeah, we're all feeding. This stuff is so yummy. This thing. Yeah. I just, how I took my glass, so I got another glass. What is this here? That's a split pea. George is going to look for a small one. These are both Greek dips. Oh, okay. They're just part of Milk Street magazine. So this is split pea dip with roasted red peppers, and this is tzatziki. Oh, okay. That board is uh, more than a few years old, so. And this is a Greek cabbage. It may have swollen oh, caps. Okay. It's never yeah. been like really stable. Oh, really? Did you want it here? Mm -hmm. so you're yeah. You had a little sangria already. I did, but Howard took my glass because he loved it so much, so I'm... It was an old war horse design when I bought it. You know, it was oh, like and you know what? I, I remember that. I, I, oh, yeah, my I last system that. I assembled had oh, a little white horse. Oh, you were almost excellent. Great. Oh, man, I didn't know that. Sometimes with any tension. Yeah, me too. Uh, Isn't that funny? Because we, I think we we just get on the same way. Yeah. Like you'll make your no, no, last no, no, thing and then... Yeah. Go for it. All right. I believe in that. You, you tell the major board. I'm going to PCI Express slots it has. And you just get on the same wavelength. Yes, I remember when this happened was in Mexico. It's great that you brought up this. Yes, I remember when this happened was in Mexico. It's a BLT deck. Big of all that. Wow. I got to come down here now. Yeah, what is what's down here? I got to come down here. Big of all that. Oh, wow. Wow, this is dip night. And this is great because we got the bread. I was like the, Ar the Arby's commercial. We got the dips. <laughs> Wait a second, Rhea. I haven't had St. Rhea's time. Well, since a couple weeks ago, but before that, I haven't had it since I was a kid. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. What the heck? Hey, good for you. Why didn't anybody ever tell me about this? Mary, thank you. Thank you so much, I once made somebody cry about the uh -oh. LT. Bit. <laughs> that wasn't nice. They get quiet when they're feeding. <laughs> <laughs> So how do you say that word M-E-Z-E? -E? It means appetizers, Greek appetizers. How do you say that? Does anyone know M-E-Z-E? -E? I see it. Like meza? Meza? Is that how you say it? Meza. Maybe. Well, we have a meza buffet here. We do that. Who's that at the door? Someone's knocking at the door. Jim Corbin. Hey, Jim Corbin. Jim Corbin was the one who gave me this subscription that I made all this stuff out of. Thank you. Come on here. Thank you. I've been telling him, talking about the Bill Street subscription. I made pita breads also. We also have, what is this dip over here that's it's so good? We're live streaming. We're, we're live on WBIG. Oh, oh. Just so you don't embarrass us all really bad. Okay. Let me, uh, Jim. 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 Pete's Garage, okay. ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Garage, Mr. Garage. My most hey. recent Facebook friend. Backfire. Really? So yes. Walker, uh, help you buy your house. Oh, right yeah. Oh, right. Jim Baker. Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 You see what she's doing? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
And, and we live on uh, Rosemont, not on Wanda Road. Oh, yeah. So we're right down the street, basically. So yeah. We'll buy your house on uh, yeah. Rosemont. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to read the comments. But it's going to be a little busy in the city. Yeah. Oh, on the beach at home. I can't read them from here. Yeah, yeah. I see a bunch on the. Uh, Where? What do they say there? <laughs> well, let's see. The mic's right on the piano, so they'll be able to hear you when you're talking over there. Well, it's because we'll provide some audio now, because everybody's been chowing down on food. Airborne Eddie in there. He's joined us. Well, it's never done. Donna Vitali says, Howdy Howard, and Pretty Mary. Well, that's, that's part of the deal. Actually. Jackie Walker says, I can hear you now. <laughs> Jackie Walker. I think those are song requests, Joy. Yeah. I can hear you. Donna now. replies, Aw, thank you, Howard. So are you. Dave Corbett, please play Chopsticks. It's my favorite song of all time. <laughs> The throngs have joined us. We've got, uh, well, of course, at the moment, it's apparently just three people on the tally board, but I see a lot more who have checked in. Of course, you know, all you got to do is like. Who else is out there, George? Um, Howard, do you, do you uh, move the camera outside on Friday evenings or not? Or is that just, Alex uh, Leonard, Donald no, no, Sally, no. Eddie Dobrohovitz. Airborne Eddie. 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 Sean McLaughlin. Jackie was with us, but she uh, currently, I don't see where she joined. She commented. Tuesday, Sean. We've got to come down for that. For the, the cameras out. We should do that. Take the cameras outside. Now, hey, your Tuesday donut. Donut Tuesday. Donut, donut Tuesday, yeah. Um, if I want a donut, do I have to place an order like a couple days ahead of time? Or how how would I park a lot? Yeah, you, you really that do. Work? Yeah, you, you really do. Um, Mary was telling me that your the demand is quite high. Kind of bumped up against your capacity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any potential to scale up, or are you just going to try? Yeah, absolutely. Um, to, to a huge degree, but you know, so you, you, you never know from on a particular Tuesday how many ice cans are going to want how many donuts. Right. Because you get these offices and these buildings. So they, you know, for them it's like none or send up a couple of dozen. You know, you know, so that's, that's a big order. You know, so to try to guess that part of the swing, the potential swing is so great. So when you get into that, I'll explain it to someone over here so that the audience can benefit from the information. It's a public service announcement. I'm sure they appreciate that. These kids, yeah, there was some funny. Howard's PSA. Because they're talking about the program closing the street world. It's a lot of work. What do you think it's a meeting? It's a meeting. 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 It's garage. 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 Well, it's great to see you here at Lounge Academy, Mike Beato. Thank you, Howard. Uh, I was asking you about Donut Tuesdays. And a lot of people have been, luckily, fortunately. And at what time does that start? At 11.30 on Tuesdays? Yeah, it's every Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, the building. Because that was the uh, the ultimate hurdle experience. Yeah. From what? 
<laughs> Hard to keep track of these cameras. It is, isn't it? Yes. You got that. See, whenever I look at the monitor, all I see is the back of my head. But if I look at the camera, look at the camera. So, it, yeah, Donut Tuesday is okay, every Tuesday. Yeah. You can put that on if you want, Mike. Oh. Could I? You can wear the, my hair. Is it, is it, does it just go in the front? Yeah, it does. Okay. Just like that. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. So Donut Tuesday. I'm going to play around with the input volume. Make sure they can hear us okay. All right. Yeah, we're, we're in the red now, so it's probably too much. A little, a little hot. It's a little hot. How's that? Okay. You're, you're amplified still, there with the mic. Still in the red. I guess it'll be okay, though. Out there, let us know if there's any distortion. Oh, the, the people will let you know, I'm I think, sure. I think your wife's the only one watching. <laughs> Which is great. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's all the inspiration we need. So, I want to get the facts on this uh, Donut Tuesday. Donut Tuesday. Yeah, 11.30 to 1.30? It's just two hours, 11.30. Yeah. It encapsulates the lunch hour okay. by a half hour on each side. Like you said, your traditional lunch hour. So, if I were to right. come down uh, during that time, what would I see? Would I see a, a crowd of people? Would I see you in the in the booth serving? Well, if you came people? down the, the one of the uh, two uh, two previous uh, editions of it, which were the only two we've ever done, yeah. you would have seen a lot of people having a lot of fun at Steve Seashine Park, mm -hmm. sitting in the park benches, enjoying the sunlight, the shade, eating their donuts, and. Hanging around the booth and Mary there, and you know, everyone having a lot of fun except the people that are disappointed because Mike, not not everyone got a donut as they had hoped. Um, and I, you know, I feel the worst about that, um, and so helpless. I feel so helpless. So we have on our our page, we've got a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. It's called City of Buffalo Department of Coffee and Donuts, yeah. and you can you can shop on there. What you, you can pre-order the donuts because we we cook them on the evening before, okay. and we make enough for the pre-orders plus a few extras for my friends that show up, you know, and or, or I'll eat them if they don't, you know. I'll eat them for breakfast the next couple of days. If that happens, but um, we actually this this last week um, things really escalated. And we were we were oversold by a lot of donuts, mm. and we got some calls from. I was rationing them out to these big important offices and these big important buildings around here. You know, where they want like a couple dozen and bringing up six and telling them, you know, be You're happy you got six. Just yeah. be happy. Yeah. Say, cut them in half, then you'll have a dozen halves. Yeah, but well, that's an idea, but we're, we're not. We don't have a license for uh, portioning. Oh, that's yeah. called portioning. Okay, I, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we can we can do that at our food processing facility, but not at the booth. So well, you could sell it as uh, all the taste, half the calories. I mean, you all the all the cost, half the cap. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a good idea. That's just just throwing it out there. Well, you know, all these, the whole thing has come about because of great ideas from the donut loving public. Well, I love donuts. I know you do. You're not joking. I'm not joking. I'm, You're actually like you have a history with donuts. Yes, I do. Yes. Um, so I, I I do plan to come down. Now, if I were to come down, I I know that it it, it can get crowded and and uh, parking is a premium. So if I were to take the metro rail down. What stop would I get off to get the closest to the? the I take the. Uh, I get off at Fountain Plaza, Fountain Plaza. Which, which is the very the very first uh, station when you're above ground. Okay. And uh, that's the closest one, and it avoids the the most sluggish part of the ride because underground it whips. Yeah. You know, right? There's no 
cars to hit or anything, or pedestrians. Mm -hmm. So it's nice, you get right off as soon as you're above ground. That sounds like a good plan. And you just, you're, we're, you know, really just a block so away. Your next yeah. So, but, and you could order a single, you could pre-order a single donut. You don't have to order a dozen or, okay. or, or a gross. Uh, you know, just, well, and, and it really helps me out because I know, uh, I'm gonna I know what to make, you know? I'm gonna check my schedule right now to see. We did a nail shot for years because the grandstand and the might be able to come down on uh, Tuesday the 17th. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's going to be this Tuesday, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, that's great. Well, that'll be fun. Dave Wonder, actor Dave Wonder was here last Tuesday. Uh huh. And, uh,. No one's, is any, Jackie's watching. Well, we're going to be here all night, Jackie Walker, and we we hope you are, too. Well, I, I, I want Jackie to know that I, I plan to um, come and pick her up and take her out for ice cream shortly. Wow. So, I guess. I mean, That's a nice night out. Yeah. Well, she's, she she's working it. right now, and I thought, you know, it's a nice oh, summer still night. At the, yeah, she's at the factory. At the factory, making those widgets, those news widgets. Um, Do you want to hear a funny anecdote on the show? Sure. So, Jackie, so Dave Wendy. Dave Wendy was here on, on after Dave Lundy. After Dave Lundy was here on Donut Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, which is no, no surprise. He's, he's no stranger to right. our endeavors here. He's part of everything, certainly. So, um, we got a call from, uh, uh, should I mention the names of the entities? Of the, the Erie County. I think you're about to. Go ahead. The, the, Erie, the Erie County uh, Board of Elections. Big, big guy over there. I guess I think he runs it. And he seems seems pretty important. And uh, so he he called me on the phone, and he said, "I'm I I can't come down today for donuts because uh, we're we're just really busy." And I said, "Yeah, you told told me that last week, you know. So you know, we we weren't expecting you." It was a week before he had pre-ordered. As an, just to see how they liked him, hmm. which was you know pretty nerve-wracking, because you know the, have you ever been up in the board of elections? I have, yeah. The third floor. Yeah. I mean, those people know their donuts. I, There's donut I boxes doubt. on every desk. <laughs> I think it's the board of donuts. <laughs> So um, we knew they weren't going to be there for the second week. Not, you know, that was before they even tasted them. They said, we can't make it next week. But we'll take a dozen back, and if they like them, you'll be in solid. And if they, you don't, then it's, it's just the way it goes. Mm -hmm. But we won't be here next week because we're auditing or busy doing something. So then he calls up. He says, I'm not coming down because uh, we're kind of odd. He called this. We already knew that, but okay. And then I threw out there, I said, um, this was before I realized I was screwed that with my inventory. So I said, would you like me to drop drop any by? You know, I, I'd love to, it'd be fun, to, you know. He said, wow, sure, it'd be great. He says, uh, send up two dozen. And I'm thinking, I said, you know, I said, I only made, I've only got a couple dozen or 25 unspoken for now. Um, I can bring you AP. And, you know, want me to bring them in a little while, you know, after I'm done. Yeah, anytime we'll be here. Great, right, you know. Glad to hear from them. And then I'm, I'm sitting there and, and you know, and uh, taking care of everything and Chris Green from BC Automotive on Hurdle Avenue, the, the car repair place. 
the owner, Chris Green, shows up. The owner and, he's, and he's driving, pulls right up illegally parked by the fire hydrant there, which looked really cool because he was in a really hot plastic T bird. And uh, that, the guy getting it fixed didn't know he took it out for a test drive, which made it even better. And he's hanging around, and you know, I know he likes our donuts, so it's like, Chris, can I get a donut? He goes, Well, yeah, I actually I pre ordered a dozen. Is it you did, on our Facebook page? Yeah, I, said, I didn't even know you got the order. I, I've never used that. I, I set it up, but like, no one had used it. Yeah, I for kind of, you know, I've had people like tell me, give me, you know, and I'll be down and. Um, so anyway, he said, but look, if you don't have enough donuts, um, you can bring them later on if you want. Or, you know, I said, no, you pre-order. We got, you know, we're kind of, yeah, priority. You, no matter what, you're getting your donuts. So, so I got his, got him his dozen. We got some great pictures of the T-bird. And then... Uh, Somebody else called up for sent me a text message. I said, I'm over, you know, I'm oversold now. I, I'm screwing over the, the, the board of elections already. You know, because I told him 18, and now I just gave, I gave his 12 out of their 18. Maybe I didn't make that clear, Jackie. So then, I said, Dave Wondy, do you want to walk over to the Board of Elections with me? We'll deliver these donuts before something happens to them. And uh, he said, if I can wear a hat. <laughs> sure, I had two of those hats. So we put on our donut hats, and I got my, my ID. Oh, yeah. And um, I'm wearing, you know, my white shirt, with, you know. We're, we're looking pretty official. And I got this big bag with the big emblem on it. And we're walking around, and, you know, people are eyeing it and wondering, like, what's going on? We look official. We got these badges and everything. So we went in there. They share the building with the sheriff's department. Like, they, they don't really have any security. Which is surprising in this day and age. Yeah, it's a bit surprising, yes. Yeah, so we, even we were able to walk right in. And we went up to this, this funky elevator in there. It's amazing. And uh, so we get out on three, and you know, I'm used to like, you know, I've been like, screwing around for the last five years, like developing concepts and closing my other things and getting ready. To, I kind of, I kind of lost touch with reality. You know, everything's kind of like a, like a fantasy joke to me. You know, I realize I'm open about it. So, as soon as we get off the elevator, I hold up the bag, and you know, and I got, and I got this. You know, my WBID. Yeah. It's like I don't know what it looks like on my. White shirt, no. And I hold her in. As soon as we got, as soon as the elevator opened, there's. If you ever been up there, there's a couple bureaucrats standing there with rubber stamps serving the public, and the the, the public is standing there, you know, swearing the things, and you know, because yeah, somebody makes a mistake. But, you know, it could be election fraud or something, right? I mean, yeah, we don't want that. That's the only reason they're there, is to prevent fraud. Right. So I walk, walk in and I, I said, department business. And they all, you know, I'm used to people just like not taking me seriously and just joking. They were, they were really nervous. I felt so bad. And they're younger guys. I, I forget that I'm older than, and like I look like I should be trusted because of my age. Right, and, and Dave Wandy looks, yeah. you know, like like a president, he plays president yeah, he does. in theater. I've seen him, yeah. So, did they like like the Red Sea with Moses? No, no, they, they just sat there like they were right. like I was Mike Wallace or something. <laughs> they, you know, I really felt bad, and um, and they say what what can I do for you? I said I can only deal with Bob. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
I, so, because I still hadn't like wised up to what an idiot I'm being. And so a guy comes in and goes, well, th this guy's name is Bob. By then they're softening off. He says, this guy's name is Bob. It's a wrong Bob. I got, you know, and he comes out with the money and he's going, oh, at least I hope I get a donut out of this. You know, now they're realizing, I told them it's coffee and donuts in the department. Yeah. Which chilled things out because I really, I really feel I, that image on my mind of them like, with their rubber stamps <laughs> looking off. Yeah, it's, it's not nice. I mean, they're, they're doing their job, yeah. you know, and they don't need this stuff. They needed the donuts. So, so. But you only had six. I only had six. So the guy comes out and he's got like more money than I've seen yeah. since I've been in the donut business. <laughs> it was like 25 bucks or something. You know, it was a lot of money. And I, you know, I had to just take out six dollars from his yeah. hands fulls of cash. And say, I, I was able to get you six. You know, I apologize. You know, but, but I appreciate that you, you called. You know, today for him, and we're getting you some. And uh, so there was that. So um, it was fun. That's a good story. Is it? Yeah. It's fun for me because you know because I I did it as the added benefit of being true. Yeah, Which absolutely. Well, you got a kick out of it. And it was fun. We took, we got some pictures and things to use. But I like the donut business. You know, it's really fun being dispatched out into these big, important buildings with these donuts and costumes. And there's no delivery charge either, right? I mean, you just no. I just love doing it. Um, you know, to make something with your bare hands, yeah. and then you, you go, and then these people are so happy. You know, because it, it's just you know. Changing their day a little bit. I, you know, I know how it is when you're in the grind yeah. for years and years and years. And little things like that are a big deal. I think. I think so too. Although it's been a long time since I was in the grind quite like that. But, uh, I was self-employed for years and years, but I created my own grind. Yeah. You know, I'm not complaining. I liked it, but. You do get into a kind of a, a routine and kind yes. of it's a rut. It's a rut you want. You create that because it works and it's efficient and you're getting things accomplished that way. But um, you know, it could use a little a little fun and dispersion. That's, that's a nice little break. Little uh, it is. I think that's what we're shooting for. You know. Well, thank you for sharing that story, Howard. Um, uh, I think I think I think we lost Jackie. Is there anybody besides now, me that well wants now to uh, now now Pete's wife is is here. <laughs> and it's great to see you, Maria. One at a time. She said she's in the garage. Well, Jackie's not there, but I'm going to go with her. I should take her out for some ice cream right now. So I'm going to leave the hat here. Where are you going to go for ice cream? Are you allowed to say? Uh, oh, well, I, I wouldn't right. say. Yeah. <laughs> Keep the crowds down. Uh, cause, yeah. Um, I'll just say wherever she wants to go, that's what I'll tell her. Well, yeah. That's a given. That's a given. Us Myra guys understand that. Yeah. Mike Beato. Okay, Howard, thank you for uh, spending a little time this evening. Well, yeah. you, you made the night extra special, Mike. Well, thank you, Howard. Uh, perhaps I'll see you on Tuesday, but if I, if I do come, I will... Pre-order my donuts. Oh, that'd be appreciated because that way, that's 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 a donut or two less that I have to worry about yeah. screwing the other guy out of. It's kind of our motto around here, you know. We screw the other guy to give you the better deal. Put it on a hat. That's good. I like that. You like that? Yeah, I like that. It's something we've been toying with. Okay. See ya. Thank you, Mike Beato. <laughs> Mike Beato, a crowd favorite at WBIG, of course. Oh, Jackie did hear the story, Mike, and uh, she chimed. She chimed back in. But somehow we're still at one viewer. I, she's kind of a tag teaming with Mrs. Garage. He's on the way. I think she saw him walking out. She watched him walking out. 
Wives love these, love WBIG TV. They can see where their husbands are. Right? That means it's turned up too much. People in television land. I like it to pick up our guests, you know. I'm going to uh, lock the front door so that the, the public, the consuming public, doesn't accidentally walk into our private little house party here. Because um, it's awkward when that happens. Oh, absolutely. You know, we have to be very nice to these people, and it takes a lot of explanation. Our station is so cool, the only person watching is Jackie Walker. <laughs> Doesn't get better than that. Jack says hi, Jackie. coming up in Lounge Academy. Probably a lot of surprises. I'm usually the most surprised of anybody.
part of the show where all the lounge cadets are eating. Apparently the whole audience is eating too. Oh, Here on Lounge Academy, about to walk in, make his entrance. It's actor David Lundy, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to see you, sir. Dave Lundy's walking around, working the room. Pete's Garage is in the audience, and he's here. It's amazing. Nice to see you, actor Dave Lundy. Great heaven. Dave like Wendy making his way up to the up to the bar to get a little bit of our uh, buffet. Dave Wendy. Thanks for having me. Well, you're very welcome. <laughs> it's great to have you here because usually usually you've got some big show business engagement and you, you do some quick walk-ons. Are you going to be able to stick around with us for a little while tonight? Sure, I just got done with work, Howard. Oh, you were? You were. I just was shooting a commercial. Great commercial for what kind of product? You allowed to say for a um, a college in Texas. I say wow. Because, because you know, first thing I think of about colleges in Texas is Buffalo, New York. Yeah. Did they? Uh, was that the job you got because they saw you on WBIG TV? No, my agent just got me this one. Wow, good agent guy, you have a job all the way in Texas. Dave Lundy, Dickie Walker says hello. Who does? Dickie Walker. Hi, Dickie. Congrats on your early, she says. It's nice, yeah. Very good. No, I don't think, I don't think they ran into each other, Jackie Walker. I think uh, there was actually, there was actually several minutes between there. Thanks, Jackie. You didn't see Mike Beato out there, did you? He left just a little while ago. It's always important to smile every day, don't you think? <laughs> At least once a day. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe when you brush your teeth, so you can so you can reach them. See those suckers better. How's the steaming hot loaf? Tempid. You're watching Lounge Academy live here. It's 
where you're part of the cocktail party, piano party, as it were. You may recognize a lot of the lounge cadets in the audience and in, at the party. They'll, be, they'll probably be around the piano in a little while, and they're feeding right now. It's typical of this early stages of the evening. I made a loaf of bread. And there's lots of other things here, too. BLT dip. Thanks to Bonnie. Lots of camera angles to share with you tonight. We can show you from the other end of the room here. There's a crowd gathering outside. Well, it's great to have you piano side. all day long. Oops, I think I heard. It's always great having Mary at the piano with me. It's nice seeing Jack's in the audience as well as being in the room. How's the book on there? Is it coming through? Very nice. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? I mean, that it works, works as well as it does. Can you hear the audio? Just to do an audio check? Yes, you can. Sounding, sounding okay. up a, a, a scarcity demand. Why? Why shouldn't I take a chance when romance passes by? Why? Why shouldn't I know of love? Mary, if you sit on this side, you'll be on more cameras. It's over there. Yeah. People want to see it, Mary. Here she comes. Here comes Mary. She's the star of the show. It's Mary Cunz, ladies and gentlemen. Mary Cunz Goldman. Happy to be here tonight at Lounge Academy. Me too, Mary. No better place to be, as far as I'm concerned. Except maybe the booth. I like being in the booth too. Bonnie and Jack with us tonight, too. It's a special okay. night. I'm being severely air conditioned. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say hello to Steve for Jack. Jack's sending out a shout out to Steve. Hi, Steve. Yeah. You're in Lounge Academy? It's nice to have you out there, Steve. Yeah. 
see President, <laughs> president of WBIG TV, that's Brian Isars in the sharp pink blazer there, sitting down next, next to Mary. There they are. <laughs> this heart of mine was doing very well. The world was fine. <laughs> Got a lot of good camera angles to share with everybody tonight. <laughs> this heart of mine was doing very well. The world is fine. Jack could tell. Suddenly I met you, and I dreamed of gay Dawn, I woke up singing sentimental overtures. This heart of mine. Is dancing gaily now. I taste the wine of real romancing now. This crazy world has taken on a wonderful design. Wife and yours, yours, this heart of mine. I taste the wine, real romancing now. This crazy world is taking on a wonderful design. As long as life endures, it's yours, this heart of mine. I'd like to say hello to Beth out there for Jack Jackson. Sending a big hello to Beth. From the Lounge Academy, Beth. <laughs> you sure she's watching? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently, there's more people watching than the names that it displays. I didn't know that. <laughs> Broadcasting live from downtown like Buffalo, New York, in the heart of the Central Lounge District downtown, the core lounge district. My name's Howard. I'm also a Buffalo's anchor man. I had another show. out there let us know and just say hello and if you have any song requests from tonight we're doing all the old songs from 20s 30s and 40s i'm going to pick some songs out of the old here's one from uh, 1948 <laughs> Jack knows this song. 
again. It's called again. This couldn't happen again. He's faking that he knows it. He's using context clues to figure out the lyrics. I thought this song was pretty well known in its day, wasn't it? This is that thrill. What's more? This never happened before. Though I have prayed for a lifetime. That such as you would suddenly be mine. Speed's garage from watching a baseball game. I don't know, I keep hearing electronics coming. <laughs> I'm hearing another show. I'm hearing Jackie yeah, Walker in the back. Oh, you said it. You should request the electronics get killed. That's right. something on? Is a radio on or something? Oh, he got it on his phone. Yeah. Oh. He's, he's watching the feed on his phone. Oh, okay. So well, turn, turn, the, uh, turn the audio off. So, <laughs> figures it would be a broadcasting professional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't compete with the broadcasting professionals. Oh, it's, 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 it's okay. That's good to know what you're doing. It is good to test it once in a while. because Otherwise, you just have no idea what's really going out there. Really quiet. Now that we had to turn that audio back on. Now that we had to dress somebody down and got really quiet. When somebody loves you, she's been saying that for years. It's no good unless she loves you. Happy to be near you when you need someone to cheer you. I had to turn the radio down in the summer. All the way. How good it goes if it's real when somebody needs you. It's no good unless she needs you. For sure, I'm gonna love you all the way.
great show business group we've got. It's all artists and entertainers. The crowd tonight, it's not that unusual. Purchasing agents, executives of entertainment companies, people with their own hit shows on YouTube, like Pete's Garage. Pete's Garage, star of Pete's Garage. Yeah. So I see Jim Corbin in the audience tonight. It's like the way everybody's helping our numbers. Jim Corbin, sorry. We usually don't have this many people out there. Western New York. George Apple, you know, we got a big, big engineer here, George Apple. You can see him dead center there and then oh. camera two. And, um, camera two. Wait a minute, I'm supposed to do this for channel four. <laughs> Actually, I was at the Bison's game once and the photographer was there and says, hey, you know, he shows his camera and I went, peace. And he says, no, you're supposed to do four. <laughs> do seven. <laughs> here you're supposed what if it's to channel four. one? Oh, yeah. What do you do then? There you go. Choice of 25. Oh, there's Jimmy 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 Four people out there, supposedly. I think they're all in this room, though. It's all right. How would you kind of go to a press conference sometime wearing that press WBIG hat? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have nobody to be, else wears a hat. I'll go though. across the street. Yeah. Gotta wear a hat to the U.S. attorneys when they're doing press. a press. Conference. <laughs> Donuts yeah, we're like a. We, we sold some of the coffee mugs. Some people bought. One woman from Toronto bought. I know. I'm actually all sold out at this moment. Yeah, I felt bad because blue. Blue. Was a you mean you bought those? <laughs> we sold like sold out. Bucks. And then we sold out. I don't know, sold like seven of them. Yeah, wow. <laughs> we sold a lot at twenty bucks. My blue. Or ten bucks. I'm sorry, it's ten bucks. Eleven with tax. <laughs> and my blue. <laughs> but you never know. I had to hide my sock. <laughs> In these oh. eyes, oh. Oh. There, 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 there. telling you, am I blue? <laughs> You'd be too. If each plan with your man done fell through, there was a time. <laughs> The only one, <laughs> but now I'm the sad and lonely one, body. Am I gay till today? Don't answer that. Now she's gone and we're through. Am I blue? Was I? Till today. 
till today Now she's gone and we're through That's a good song Am I at Big Blue <laughs> With an apple <laughs> It's a great song. It was a great, it was a great movie scene that's available to see that scene on, on YouTube. Who's in that scene, Mary? Humphrey Bogart is sitting there. He doesn't have any lines. Oh, and Lawrence. He's watching. It's all being played out for his benefit. He's yeah, sitting there. And she sings that song. Well, you know, he's, I haven't thought if I was going to try singing a song that's Warren not a McCall. difficult song to sing. The range is real small. And when I start singing, I'm going to do that song because it's easy. I mean, the range is... So Lauren Bacall, not being a technically singer, would have been able to pull it off. Yeah, she and she's got that husky voice, well. which is nice. And she had, what's his name on the piano? Hoagie That's Carmine. a real narrow range. It doesn't make you do any kind of jump or anything. Yeah. 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 You really know that yes. factoid? Really? Yeah. He, yeah. So it wasn't her singing? No, it was. Because I was thinking it was an easy song wow. to sing, and that's why she could do that it. That makes me feel what do you like mean, a Annie Williams? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a joke. <laughs> a 13 year old man. She Lord. sounded so sexy, and it was a 13 year old boy. <laughs> what does that make me? This is what makes you feel like How a How do they ever come up with that arrangement? Okay, this 13 year old boy will sing this. Yeah, no way. That doesn't sound like a. Obviously, his voice has not changed. How did you know it was turned to that page, Jack? I just do. It is. <laughs> but he requested it, and it just happened to be open. I wasn't I even going to play it. I didn't, even know, I didn't even know it was open in front of me. The stay and age we're living, living in gives cause for apprehension. Like a sweet and new invention, like things on the third dimension grow a trifle weary. Like Mr. Einstein's theory, we must get down to earth at times. Relax, relieve the tension. No matter what the progress, what we may have proved, simple facts of life by such cannot be removed. You must remember this. A kiss is just a kiss. Size just a sign. As time goes by, and when two lovers woo, they still say, I love you. On that, you can rely. No matter what the future brings. Heart full of passion, jealousy and hate. Woman needs man, and man must have his mates. No man can deny. It's still the same old story. Fight for love and glory. Case of do or die. The world will always welcome lovers. 
love has come along. Perfect timing for the song. My only days are over. And life, life is like a song. That lands the skies above our blue. My heart was wrapped in clover. Great to see you, Nick Moses. It's like a musical. He just came out of nowhere. The night I looked at Nick, I found a dream. A dream that I can speak to. A dream that I, I could call my own. I found a thrill to press my cheek to A thrill I've never known You smile And then the spell was cast And here we are in heaven Thank <laughs> you. 
No, actually, it's just on my um, pro, my Facebook profile. Oh, so that could just be Howard. Yeah, okay. yeah. I haven't been putting them up yet on the WB. Oh, okay. I could yeah. share it to that. Well. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Where do you get the tea? We'll take over the country. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there's not much stuff that doesn't make me, you don't have They're now on WBIG-TV. Oh, well, I shared it over there. Oh. Yeah, look at that wow, back picture back. quality looks great. It's amazing. Watching it on my Facebook page over here, the computer. That's from the, uh, the camera way on the other side of the... I've got a new uh, signal booster on that camera because the cable run is so long it goes through the basement. Is that the here. one that you had problems with? Yeah. Before? Yeah, I bought a little box for 20 bucks and man, it just bang. Nice, crisp picture. You must have exceeded the 25 foot rule. Yeah, I did. It was like 40 feet. Oh, yeah. It's HDMI. Is that about it? You can do 50. Sometimes, but I was I was joining them together at 25 to a 15. Oh, once you make the connection, that you yeah, made, uh, then you lose you're screwed. Yeah, it's gotta be one continuous run. So what I did is I took where I had the the connector, I I put the box and then fixed it because that's where you're supposed to put it. I didn't even have to plug it into anything. It's just being self-powered. You can, you can also plug yeah, it in. I see. Yeah. POE. I've got POE in the booth. Mary's thinking if we keep talking tech, it's going to be, this is the end <laughs> of a beautiful friendship. It ended a moment ago. This is the end of a beautiful friendship. I know. For your eyes told me so. We were always like sister and brother. Till tonight, when we were part each other, that was the end. Of a beautiful friendship and just the beginning of love. How many times has that happened? This song brings calls to me. It's just, you're like brother and sister with somebody, you're that way forever. It doesn't change. Yeah, but see, what all guys know is that in the guy's mind, it was never like brother and sister. It was always, it was always a ploy. 
Right? Right, George? Yeah. There's no such thing. <laughs> Jack Horrell is out there watching. We're going to have record numbers tonight, that's for sure. We're all fixing them. We're cooking the books. Biding my time. That's the kind of guy. Other folks dizzy. I keep busy. I'm biding my time. Next year. Next year. Something's bound to happen This year, this year I'll just keep on napping I'm biding my time Cause that's the kind of guy I No regretting when I'm suddenly Biding my time Something's bound to happen Next year, next year I'll just keep on napping I'm biding my time That's the kind of guy I There's no regretting When I'm setting Biding my time Gershwin and Gershwin. Oh, they wrote that. They wrote great songs. Jordan Ira? That's the kind of guy I am. I didn't know that. They wrote that. named after our room.
where every day is a holiday. On a car in your marriage. And I believe the ballroom. Robinson Caruso Not so far from worldly cares As a guru far away upstairs Look a lucky moth I wonder how many tears went into that line about Neil Sawyer Trisso and Robinson Caruso It's not so good Yeah It's great <laughs> Richard Rogers and Hart song room from the old from the girlfriend. Yeah, Howard, I saw Jeffrey and Jeffrey look like there's a big bug in horse lines that looks like eight with great enjoyment. Oh, what a good boy. He gets that attitude. Yeah, no, I wasn't that. Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> Come fly with me. Let's fly away. If you can use some exotic moves, there's a bar in Far Bombay. Come fly with me. Let's fly. Let's fly away. Fly with me. Fly down to Peru. In the Lama Land, there's a one man band. He'll tune his flute for you. Fly with me, let's fly off in the blue. Up there, where the air is rarefied, we'll just glide, sorry I'm. Up there, I'll be holding you so near. a lovely day. Say the word, we'll beat the bird to Acapulco Bay. Perfect for flying honeymoon, they say. Come fly with me. Let's fly away. Jimmy Van Heusen, Sammy Khan, a couple of ringers. That one. Here's a song that Guy Valeri wrote for Kathy Moses.
I look at you and begin to sing I'm not as crazy as I seem to be After all, it's spring And if I Bits of straw and string I'm only doing what those robins do After all, it's spring If I dream out loud When we're in a crowd Forget the time of day Darling, bear with me When they stare at me And remark the ghost And April Fool in May And if I hear bells It's Ann and Don, ladies and gentlemen
you and me, we wanted it all. We wanted it all. Passion without pain. We wanted it always. You and me, we reached for the sky. The woman was high. Never giving in. I should have seen it in his eyes. Look, look how our dreams came true. Still, I've got me. down here on Tuesday, would you? Thanks, Bonnie. You and me, we weren't like the rest. We once were the best. Back when we were young, how did we become so smart? To break each other's heart. See how I've got me, and baby, you've got you. Through it all, just one thing died. A little thing called love. Something deep inside You and me We weren't like the rest We once were the best Look what we've become Isn't it crying shame That we almost made it we wanted it all Maybe you and me We wanted it all You and me Tired of you when you know, 
guitars grow tired of gleaming. When I am tired of dreaming, then I'll be tired of This I know is true. Trouble. Winds grow tired of blowing. Grass is tired of growing. It'd be great if grass was tired of growing right this summer. And then I'll be tired. I'm never like, right. I know, yeah, that's what, what people do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Until the birds right. refuse to fly. Yeah, yeah. 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 The ears, the echo of my only love will still be whispering. Should ever start repeating that it is tired of beating, then I'll be tired of you. It's a kind of bittersweet line there about if my tired heart. Oh, a beautiful song. Is that a nice song? That is yeah. a beautiful song. Now, which end did you mean? Jerry's in it. Because I was standing next to Anna, I was like, <laughs> was, but then well, I realized that there's each, not each of you. I'm trying to do a song. How can I ever get tired of Anne's? Anne's, yeah, plural. Plural Anne's. That's why we have two of them. Were you working tonight, Anne Philippone? No, I went out to dinner with my husband because every Friday the 13th we celebrate oh, because it was our 13th. first day. Oh, on a Friday the 13th? Our first oh. day was on oh. a Friday the 13th, so we celebrate every Friday the 13th. <laughs> oh, that's, that's wonderful. I didn't know that. That's so a little we went bit of show Osteria, business had a trivia. Day, and we thought we'd visit you. Oh, Osteria. Been to forever. Yeah, oh, that's, that's fantastic. Oh, I'm glad you did. Oh, yeah, that's a great tradition yeah. on Friday the 13th because you had. Now, do I have to order a hat for two? Show up. You should really order ahead because I, I, I make what people order and then yeah, a few he, extras, but... He, he got into yeah. trouble last two yeah, we, 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 we sold out in 20 minutes and we were oversold by 18 donuts. Yeah, it was really embarrassing. Donuts. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, the board of elected tried to order two Well, you know what happens is somebody in an office... <laughs> Comes down and wants like a couple dozen, you know. They, oh, and we, we're surrounded good. by these cubicles. Oh, yeah. so why don't you start making more donuts, man? Well, he doesn't want leftovers it's, either. It so takes, it's hard to yeah, it takes hours and hours to make them. And, oh, it does. Yeah, I mean, I you're literally making them. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Totally by hand. I don't have any equipment. You know, you could. You really? Could, you know, you could kind of private label, stop someone else and buy some donuts. <laughs> Not the same though, his donuts are better. Yeah, you could be like Freddy's Donuts. You could be like a subsidiary of Freddy so that when you run out, you call Freddy. <laughs> That's an idea. That is an idea. He's a resourceful lunch. guy. Yeah. Say, Come on his bike. Yeah. And say, hey, man, yeah. We're, we're out of donuts. You want to help us out? <laughs> and then be like, hi, now we're a subsidiary of Freddy. <laughs> you can just get a little sticker that says, Oh, That's a good idea. Howard's get a sticker that says Howard's and put it right over Paula's. I'm going to put Pete's garage on it. All kinds of boxes you can oh, That's a great idea. A little yeah. sticker right over Paula's and then you'd be Howard's Donuts. There's no difference. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 And you can charge double because then you can say they're artisan donuts. Resell. I like that. This is why we have so many good ideas. They say I'll move a mountain. And I'll move a mountain 
If she wants them out of the way, Nick. Right? That's what we do. Crazy she calls me. Sure, I'm crazy. Crazy in love, I'd say. They say I'll go through fire. And I'll go through fire. As she wants it, so shall it be. Crazy she calls me. Sure I'm crazy. Crazy in love. You'd see. Like the wind that shakes the bow. She moves me with her smile. The difficult I'll do right now. The impossible will take. Forever, if I have to hold up the sky, crazy she calls me. Sure, I'm crazy, crazy in love. I am. Maybe, maybe yeah. Am I? That's what it's like, right, George? Yeah. They tell you to take out the garbage. Take out the garbage. <laughs> so shall it be. Oh, this is a nice song. people different camera angles. I, I shared that over lunch upstairs. I shot up like kind of quietly. Like, the, 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 the VIP table. I, I know people are kind of, you know, it's, it's funny you should say that because On my ceiling, near my bed, I I try to hide in vain underneath my window pane. Above. I whisper, go ahead, my lover. It's not fair, but I'm so grateful to discover she's still there. I love my ceiling more. Since it is a 
dancing floor just for I whispered away my love. It's not fair, but I'm so grateful to discover she's still there. I love my ceiling more since it is a dancing floor. Just it's a nice song, Rogers and Hart. Yeah. To thank every all my friends at the front table tonight. By Henry Mancini and Johnny Mercer. No white mates there. Can't believe how big your cat's getting, George. They sure go fast. And they learn the ropes. That's nice. That's handy. I had to teach Jeffrey everything. <laughs> the day days of wine and roses laugh and run away like a child that plays through the metal way or a closing door a door marked nevermore that wasn't there before wow, amazing oh only night discloses yeah, yeah, just yeah, a passing yeah. breeze filled yeah. with yeah. memories yeah. of a golden yeah. smile yeah. introduced yeah. me to yeah. the days yeah. of wine yeah. and yeah. roses yeah. and you Champa boy.
Days of Wine and Roses. Oh, the land. First, putting a house This is the Days of Wine and Roses, right? We'll come up with the plans. Really? Yeah, yeah, an architect just stands Yeah. Oh, When the yeah. deep you don't know what I want, what do I say? Purple fall. I just don't pay you. When you're coming in your house with my property. Yeah. Oh, you I say. You know, yeah. So you have a whole lot of people. Yeah. 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 So if you don't do what I say, you can leave that on my property. Yeah. Right? yeah. You can do anything you want. So it worked out pretty good. It did it pretty quickly. And I kind of separated. I did a lot of work myself. So yeah. So you're trying to oh yeah oh the link must be uh yeah she said hold on but i don't know if she oh. can find so, it yet so probably, it should be you think so yeah i mean it's on my yeah it's it's working it's on yeah. all right i'll tell her just Say hi to Tracy. Great seeing you. Jim Corbin, ladies and gentlemen. One of the founders of Lounge Academy. Kathy, embrace me, my sweet embraceable you. Embrace me, you irreplaceable you. Just one look at you, my heart grew tipsy. Bring out the gypsy I love the many charms about her. Above all, I want my arms about you. Baby, come to Papa. 
Come to Papa too. My sweet embrace. My Like we should know it. I wish I knew I would listen more. 
Yeah. Well, you're going to hear a lot of the song. Yeah. 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 She's all sweaty. Yeah. The movie is yeah. yeah. dark. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, Nick, I, did, I didn't see that movie with George Gershwin. About George. About George. I don't think I've seen the whole movie. Yes, it is. I don't know if you can see it. There, there was more to that movie than when they had the movie. There's more to the movie than when they had the movie. There are things they didn't show. I was up two hours. Oh, it had extra scenes in it? Yeah, there, there were scenes wow. that I don't remember in the original movie. Uh, I loved it. They, they had the whole family, you know, how his parents came. There's something that I never saw in the movie. I'll have to watch that. Sounds great. Nick Moses. I just locked out. I'll say. Nick, this heart of mine was doing very well. The world was fine. Pete's garage. Pete's Garage, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, your daughter just joined. Nice to see you, Sophia. Well, Mary Kate O'Connell's on now, too. Now the pressure's on. All the heavy hitters. Sophia and Mary Kate. How are you guys doing tonight? Wonderful having you here. I'm glad you're here. We needed some some real song people, you know. I love it. Here's one, Mary Kate. I bet you don't know. No one knows this one. Who taught me this one? Jackie Jocko, because to, to my surprise, even Guy Bavaria, I even stumped Guy Bavaria, which never happens. This heart of mine was doing very well. The world was fine As far as Pete's garage could tell Suddenly I met you And I dreamed of Gamor Dawn I woke up singing Sentimental overture This heart of mine Is dancing gay I taste the wine of real romance. Sing now, this crazy world is taking on a wonderful design. As long as life endures, it's yours. This heart of mine, is it great?
You can see a lot of big heavyweight show business people sitting at the VIP table. Dave Wandy is having a conversation with Don. Boy, look to be a fly on the wall. There he is, he's waving. They're waving. Hi, Dave and Don. See that? See, they're watching. No wonder our ratings are so high. You can see Nick over by the window, and Nick Moses. Next to him, sitting next to him at the piano is George Apple, one of our founding members, and his, his wife Anne. The guy chugging that bottle is Nick Moses, and he's standing next to Kathy Moses. He's doing some tricks for Ann, I think. Standing up there in the middle of the room is Mary Clins Golden, my co-host. She's talking to Annie. Annie's a big star, as you all know. Might be able to get her up to the piano tonight for a lucky on her night off from entertaining. You never know, she might do it. Maybe we could talk to Don and Don could talk to her about it. You know, he has pull. Say hi to Kathy. Kathy Bishop joined. She's she's, she's a home lounge cadet watching. Great having you with us. A foggy day in London town. Help me out, Nick. Had me low. Had me down. I viewed the morning with a lot. The British Museum had lost its charm. How long, I wonder, can this thing last? The age of miracles had come and passed. Suddenly, I, I saw you there, foggy London town. Sun was shining everywhere. I've been working on. Wow. I don't know if you guys want to hear new stuff or not. Sure. <clears throat> okay. Sorry, I'm a giant. I'm such a this is exciting. Amazonian person. <laughs> um, Yeah. 
in these times of make it or break it See a chance, you just gotta take it Cause you know it's truly what we do with goals And you know that we can't stand by and fake it If we do, then we'll never make it Hit the streets and shout, we gotta get on out Let's go Hey, we gotta be okay sooner, later Oh, in the middle Pick up all the pieces and start it over Working together Cause we need your all to stand up tall and fight for what's right If we stand up for each other, work together sisters and brothers Then no one could say we let them take it all away Hey, we gotta be okay sooner, later, or oh, in the middle Pick up all the pieces and start it over Working together, making it better now All the pieces and start it over Working together, making it better Working together, making it better Now, 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 now <laughs> so that's my my newest song that I just kind of got together and wrote and uh, Krista Setting kind of helped me like make demarcations between the sections and stuff like that because it was oh she's awesome she's awesome and there's a new song by just by John Brady that I just learned but I just changed the key so I hope I don't screw it, uh, maybe I should do it in the old key, even though I don't sing it that good in the old key. By our John Brady? Um, Drummer John Brady? Or? No, John Brady, John G. Brady, the, okay. the John Brady, the guitar player who was a folky and then blues and original music. And um, I love this song. I think, I think I'm going to do it in the old key. I know the first one.
his face I could see the disgrace of a man with no love in his life He was bitter and guys blind and afraid until he was saved practicing it in the new key so I got super screwed up a couple times sorry about Very that <laughs> so okay so I should probably do some stuff you know now <laughs> like Pianist's choice. what's that Pianist's choice. Pianist's like choice. Um, I'm a 
pray we all will be gay, me or mine. And so no a gun will have it run on the mire. I said, oh, I get a little bit high. I said, whoa, 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 who
little baby now don't and don't you cry when I know I'm being taped. I do. I always... That's why you should tape weird. it all the time. No. Then it's normal. Don't put any of this on Facebook. I would die. It's live. What do you mean it's live? Oh. It's live. What are you talking we about? We do this live every week. So what do you mean it's live? Like people are watching One, it? Well, it's out there. Three. Three. What? Half of them are here. What's half of three? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, that's crazy. So what do you mean? Like, uh, like I've been like, people are watching this? Well, unfortunately, yeah. three people are watching Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Can I put this here? Yeah. Is it okay? I don't You're want to. You're in. You can do whatever you want. Oh, it's blocking the camera. Oh, that's funny. Oh, wow. Because I looked over and I was like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> like, I looked over and I saw myself. I was like, ooh. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. It's like, oh, I should have combed my hair. <laughs> I'm playing stuff, I, I want to play some stuff that I like, don't play that much. Or that's kind of newer, new-ish, anyway. Um, so. What do you guys want to hear? Is there anything I need to know about? We want to know what's new. Um, so the first thing I played was new, that was brand new. Um, yeah, that was fun. Mix it up, classic, new. Um, I'll play, <clears throat> you guys have probably never heard the song I wrote for my husband. Have you ever heard that? You mean for Don? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll play that. Okay. I don't want to wreck your table. I feel like I should have a coaster. I feel like my mom's going to yell at me. You want a coaster? Here's a coaster. <laughs> okay, good. Anything you want, Annie? Wreck the furniture. I feel like my mom would be like, really? Right yeah. now? Oh, no, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'd be different without you. I could get along. It's true. But I never find such happiness. Um, let's see. I just 
really nice. It could be a movie thing.
probably never heard me do before. That's great. I didn't know it was going to be like. That was great. Nice. That was fantastic. That's fantastic. <laughs> it was. Yeah. 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 That's fun. Now I wish I didn't do the song. I changed I the key. I love that for a. Um, that's all right. That's what we do here. We change keys. Yeah, yeah, for a rock pianist, that's like the Hummer Club. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love that one. I know. I was like, I got to do that one. Hummer <laughs> Club. You really love it. You do it. You do it. That was so awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you, Annie. It was fun. Yeah, sure it was. Yeah, that was awesome. well, always good to hear the Beatles. Yeah. Yeah. Something different. I wanted to do some just stuff you guys probably, you know, different than what I've Yeah, it's beautiful. I've done before when I've been here. Thanks. Oh, I'm so glad you liked yes, it. Thanks. But you got the whole thing. <laughs> that was great. You have to. If you're going to do that, you have to do yeah, that whole. you got to go through all of them. What's that? You picked a good place to start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no, I mean that. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. That's, and that's kind of how it goes on the record, too. Like, it goes from, it goes from Golden Slumbers, and then it does carry yeah. that way. Carry that it, way, and the end. <laughs> and that, yeah. 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 I used to listen to that, yeah. all, the, that all the time. I love that one. I played it off on my four track and eight track. My eight track? I had eight tracks. Yeah. It was great when the Glee Club was able to start bellowing along. You're going to carry that way. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I was hoping you guys were going to sing more. That yeah. was <laughs> no way on TV. How are you just doing something? I can't believe I was on TV. Oh my yes. God. Well, you know, it's going to be a You're streaming. Now, wait, what does that mean? Like, who saw it? Who could see that? I just have it on my Facebook. Oh, okay. So I, well, I'm on your Facebook? Yeah. Can we get rid of it? No. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> Happy hitters. Are you on it by the No. Why would you want to do that? It's great. I don't know. I kind of screwed up my own, I screwed up my own original song in the beginning. Come on, man. That's what's great about it. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, well okay. All right. It's very well said. Thank you, John. Thanks for making this happen. It's <laughs> oh, yeah. such an honor. It's such an honor. It's so silly. Oh, my God. You guys are so silly. Play some more, you sound great. Oh my god, I haven't heard you in a while. You sound amazing. Mary Kate O'Connell liked that a lot. What's that? Mary Kate O'Connell says brava. <laughs> Are, are hot, they're hard to touch. Yeah. Burning myself. A song, very good. Very good, Dave Wandy. See you at uh, Donut Tuesday. Dave Wandy, ladies and gentlemen. There he goes. After Dave Wandy, he's working his way through the crowd. On his way out, there he is with Don. Over at the VIP table. Looks like he's gonna head this way through the room. He's there he is. He's he's embracing Annie. Or is it the other way around? It's kind of a mutual. He goes by Kathy Moses and Mary Kunz Goldman and he's there he is, just like this. One of my favorite parts of Lounge Academy when it gets late and people are really relaxed and just settled in. The apples are going to head back to 
There's Chalet and Silver Creek. You can take the Skyway, George. Is the Skyway open or are they still it's working out? Outbound is open. And then they go working their way through the crowd. It's it's hard for the apples to leave a room. You know, everybody wants to grab them and have something to say to them. And there they go. They're saying goodbye to Mary now. The two Anns are having a conversation about show business. next to mine so I kissed you and Don didn't mind it at all when I'm away such a break never happens how long can a guy 
go on dreaming If there's a chance that you care Then please, please say you do My baby Say it and make mine Make my crazy dreams come true We have got zero viewers. <laughs> I shouldn't say that because if anybody watches it on replay, wait, there's got one. Don, you're just a great guy to play for. something from uh, Jerry Lewis as in the Naughty Professor. Yeah. Hmm? He's gone. Playboys, Gary Lewis and the Playboys. Up at dawning, sleepy and yawning, still the taste of wine. Then I remember your mind, and I've got a world that's fine. What's before me? Routines that bore me. Punch that clock at eight. But what a lucky guy I am. I've got a world that's great. Adam bombs, Cape Canaveral, and Boston bombs. Half the universe is up in arms. So I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle, we can live like kings. If you remember your mind, then I've got a world that you've got a world that we got a world that swings. I'd like to take you on a wild, wonderful adventure. Fly like a kite from space, no strings. I don't want to lose that there them rings. I've got a world that swings. I've got the world on a string. Sitting on a rainbow, tied the string around my finger. The string reminds me of mine. And I've got a world that swings. Atom bombs. Half the universe is up in arms. Half the world is up in arms. So I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you remember your mind, then I've got a world that you've got a world that we got a world that swings. We've got a world that swings. Don, we've got a world that swings. Kim Jong Un with the Bombs. Kim Jong Un. Rocket Man. Yeah. 
It's a great movie. It's a really it's good, good movie. It's, it's good. With Buddy Love as the hipster. Amazing. Girls are over in the orange room, yakking away. It's the end, uh, tail end of the night here. Where it's one of my favorite times of the night, just because it's, you know, it's like in the old days. It's quarter to three. No one in the place except you and me. Da -da -da -da. Wish I had that in front of me. Easy and low. We'll drink to a thing. One for my baby. And one more for the road. I don't think I have that one. I've never seen it come up in this book. Such a classic. Yeah, I don't feel like looking for it. I've got a crush on Kathy. Sweetie pie. All day and all night time. Hear me sigh. I never had the least bit notion that I could fall with so much emotion. Could you cool? Could you care? For a cunning cottage, we could share. The world will pardon my mush. On a comma, I've got a crush, my baby. Why try to change me now? 
God never tries to change me. That's what I like about it. I'm sentimental. So I walk in the rain. I've got some habits. Even I can't explain. Could start for the corner. Turn up in Spain. Why try to change me now? I'll sit and I'll daydream. I've got daydream score. Cigarette ashes. There they go on the I'll go away weekends, leave my keys in the door. Why, why try to change me now? Why can't I be more conventional? People talk, people stare, so I try. That's not for me Cause I can't see My kind of crazy world Go passing me by So let people wonder Let them laugh, let them frown You know I love you Till the moon's upside down Don't you remember I was always your clown Why try to change me? Why try to change me? Why try to change me? Great Cy Coleman tune. Now in the old days, at the end of a night like this, the room would be good and smoky. Everyone would be ripped. Other than those two things, it's kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, there's something wrong with this picture. It's it's not the like a blue line. Yeah. Well maybe we could add that in in post production. Kathy is Nick's hand order. Good night, Kathy. See you next week, I hope. Come on down on uh, Donut Tuesday. 11.30 to 1.30. If you want donuts, let me know ahead of time so I'll make them. Otherwise, we never have enough. Donuts, Donut Tuesday. Every Tuesday out here at the booth. Sponsored by the City of Buffalo Department of Coffee and Donuts. <laughs> Thinks I'm joking. Well, yeah, it was, it was part of a 
part of a consolidation. It used to be coffee and it used to be donuts. It had to be you. gets too hungry for dinner and dates. He likes the theater. Don never comes late. I never bother with people I hate. That's why the lady is a champ. I don't like crap games with Baron and Oils. Won't go to Harlem in Nerman and Poils. Won't dish the dirt with the rest of the girls. That's why the lady is a tramp. She likes a free, fresh. Wind in her hair, life without care. She's broke, it's oak, hates California. It's cold and it's damp. That's why the lady is a tramp. that wind in her hair, life without care, she's broke, it's oak, hates California, it's cold and it's damp, that's why the lady is a tramp. So much fun playing for it. I was going to take a verse and sing. Oh, okay. Oh, you want to do that? No, let's do a different song. Pick a, pick a, pick a song I know. Danny knows lots of songs. I don't know. I don't know as many songs as I should. Well, he does. Let's do... Uh, we'll find some good ones. Now, wait, so is this all going to be on this Facebook Live thing? It's on now. There's, it's on right now. Love, love for sale. <laughs> I'm not doing a very convincing job. Appetizing young love for sale. What do you hear Annie do this one? Love that's fresh and still unspoiled. Love that only slightly soiled. Love, love for sale. Who, who will buy? Who would like to? 
to sample and supply. Who's prepared to pay the price for a trip to paradise? Love, love for sin. The people pipe of love in their childish way. If you want the thrill of love, you've been through the mill of love. Old love, new love, every love but true love. Love for sale. Appetizing young love for sale If you want to buy my wares Follow me and climb upstairs Love Donuts for sale, freezies for sale, donuts for sale, but they're not on sale, right Don? I could see any doing this one, it has a lot of flats in it though. Don't let me be lonely. song with Annie. The sky is blue and high above. The moon was new and so was love. The eager heart of mine was singing. Lover, where can you be? You came at last. Love had its day. The day was past. You're gone away. This aching heart of mine was singing. Lover, come back to me. I've walked so long, I've walked along with you. No, no wonder I am lonely. The sky is blue, and night is cold. The moon is new, but love is old. And while I'm waiting here, the sword of mine is singing. Love, come back to me. Oscar Hammerstein. Well, oh, this is a nice song. Probably no one's heard it. It's a great song. What a day. Fortune smiles and came my way. Bringing love that never thought I'd see. I'm so lucky to be me. Don, how about something from... Uh, I've got a nice song from... This is this was from Shaft. And, uh, and I, you know, I must have been, you know, what if somebody 
Ladies and gentlemen, Mark and Mark Weber and Jody got married today. Mark Weber, Mark Weber married Jody today. Just found out. There he is. Congratulations, Mark. Yeah, that's fabulous, Mark. Buffalo's crooner, Mark Weber. Well, you guys are awesome, and congratulations from all of us at Lounge Academy. Okay, so so if this is the same lodge, does that mean people go back and listen to it? Or yeah, it just, yeah. Oh, okay. You guys had an event, an open invitation forever. Come on over. Every Friday, you guys, any Friday you're, you think of us, just drop in. Please. What a blast that'll be. May 15th. That's a long way off. I don't know why I wait that long. That's great news. It's so lucky to be Mark Weber. Here's one for you guys. Come on along and listen to by a Broadway hip around the belly the wall of by a Broadway the rumble of the subway train the rattle of the taxis the daffodils that entertain that Angelos and Maxis when Broadway baby says good night it's early in the morning Manhattan baby, don't sleep tight until the dawn. Good night, baby. Good night. Milkman's on his way. Sleep tight. Call it a day, hey, come on along and listen to the lower by of Broadway, Viparel, the boop de doo the lower by of Broadway, the band begins to go to town, and everyone goes crazy, rock a by your baby round, till everyone gets hazy, hush, a by I'll buy you this and that. You hear a daddy saying, you're going to her flat to sleep all day. Good night, baby. Good night, milkman's on his way. Let's call it a day. Listen to the world. Glad you like that, Mark and Jody Weber, Buffalo showbiz couple. They got married in May. Well, you know, every night it's like that first, first time, you know, when you're newlyweds. It's just like May 15th every night, I'll bet. I'll give you a few camera angles. Watch this, Mark Weber and Jody. There's camera from across the room. You can see Nick and Annie. Annie's texting. Here's a shot of all the people that used to be at the piano. I can control all that while I'm at the piano, Mark.
can I do for you, newlyweds? Here's something from Shaft for you, Mark Weber. Yeah. Yeah, that's Annie. Mark Weber. Hi, Mark Weber. Did he get married today? He was just kidding with us. It turns out it was May 15th, but every night's like May 15th when you're in love. I could see May 15th in Don's eyes. And he looks at Annie. Here's something from Shaft, see so if I can remember it. Don't misunderstand. We are only strangers. On our way to someone else. In some place we forgot. Take my smile. It just means I'm lonely. Love me till this day is past, and then forget we met. We're just stealing time in a special place, yielding to a soft wind's day to blow away. understand the pain that goes into the creative process. <laughs> Love Post Shaft. I don't know that one. I don't know about Post Shaft. I'll have to word it for you guys for your next daily anniversary. Here's one for you guys. Because Mark's a very passionate man. That's why he's Buffalo's crooner. Right, Jody? Each time I look at you, it's like the first time. Each time you're near me, the thrill is new. And there is nothing that I'd rather do for the rare delight of the sight of you the more I see you the more I want you somehow this feeling just grows and grows 
With every sigh, I become more mad about you, more lost without you. much I love you, the more I see you, as years go by, I know Can you imagine how much Mark loves you? Oh, I see you. As years go by, I know the only one for me can only be you. My arms won't free you. Those are the Buffalo's couple, Mark and Jody Weber. Right now, please thank the Powerful the 1901 Wow, Annie's going to be here on Tuesday. Donut Tuesday, my friend. How many should we reserve for you? A couple, couple donuts? Yeah, a couple donuts, okay. For Tuesday, you got it, Don and Annie. What a great night this was. Walk on guests, Annie and Don. Now we're going to see him again on Tuesday. This is wonderful. Oh, Annie was so much fun sitting at the piano and watching you just. Just wonderful. You've got the greatest voice for for that for the blues. I mean, there's just right. It doesn't get any better. It's like she's really like pissed off and bummed out, and her dog bitter, and she got a bad donut. Thank you, Mark. I'm glad you liked it. That was for you guys. David Lundy's on both sides of the camera tonight. This is fun. I can just keep playing. Everyone went home and they're tuning in.
Here's one for Mark's Valentine. Just Mary and me and the internet. And he's gonna come with me to Donut Tuesday. It's just, isn't this romantic, Mary? It's, it's just beautiful. It's just you and me and the World Wide Web. <laughs> the World Wide Web. You and me and the world. See this pole that's between you and the camera there? See there? Oh yeah. If you move to either side. It's not gonna get away people, from the, pole. Pe <laughs> see the pole. People won't see a pole. Okay. I'll move I know it's in a bad spot. I'll just move into this chair here. <laughs> Don is standing there outside of the Dave room. Wandy tuned in to see himself. I didn't realize that um, Steve Seashon and Don were cousins. Did you know that? Oh, that's right. Here's a song that... We're talking about Steve Seashon's donut commercial. Here's one through what went through Mark Weber's mind. Mark Weber should come here one of these days. He's gonna. With Jody. With Jody. Here's what went through Mark's, it had to go through Mark's mind the first time he set eyes on Jody Weber. Maybe the last time he set eyes on her, too. <laughs> I took one look at you. Oh, from a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's court. That's all I meant to do. And then my heart. My heart stood still. Better give him some resuscitation, Jody. My feet could step and walk. My lips could move and talk. And yet my Stood still, though not a single word was spoken, I could tell you knew an unfelt clasp of hands told me so well, Jody knew I never lived at all. Until the thrill of that moment when my heart stood still. That moment when Mark's heart stood still. Thank you, Mary. Well, you're making us smile tonight, Mark and Jody. Here's a song Gary Marino taught me recently. Actually, I don't know it, so he didn't teach me, but he to use the drug parlance of the 60s, he turned me on to this song. <laughs> If I don't see her each day, I miss her. Oh, it's dancing with a laughing face. Gee, what a thrill each time I kiss her. Believe me, I've got a case. Jody with a laughing face. She takes the winter and makes it summer. Summer could take some lessons from her. Picture a tomboy in lace. Nancy 
with the magic page. Silvers wrote the lyrics. Remember Phil oh. Silvers, comic actor? Those are cute lyrics. I always remember in Vanity Fair magazine in the 80s, they did a, you wouldn't see it now, this kind of story, but they did a photo spread of Ronald Reagan and Nancy Reagan, and they had the lyrics to Nancy with the left face. <laughs> I guess the photo of them dancing. <laughs> I remember that. That's why I know this. When I embrace my dancing with the left face. Here's one for Mark Weber. George Gershwin. From the island oh, this is so sweet. of Manhattan. Gershwin's greatest song. <laughs> to the coast of gold. From north to south, from east to west, you are the love I love the best. You're the dream girl of the sweetest story ever told. Dream I've sought both the night and day for you, sir. The USA, the star I've hitched my wagon to, is very obviously you. I sing, baby, summer, autumn, winter, spring, baby, you're my 
silver lining You're my sky of blue There's no silver shining Just on account of you cadets out there. Who's out there? We got Mark Weber and Dave Lundy. Are those? Maybe, I'm guessing. On a clear day, rise and look around you. Got to do that now while we're getting yeah, all these clear days. Who the hell you are? Day. How it will astound you that the glow of your being outshines every star you'll feel part of. Every mountain, sea, and shore you can hear. From far and near, you've never heard before on that clear day. On that clear day, you can see forever and never. Clear day on Donut Tuesday, I know it. That's right. Danny's coming to Donut Tuesday. That's going to be amazing. It's going to be great having Annie and Don. <laughs> Eating donuts with them. <laughs> Hanging out at Steve Seashun Park. Donut Tuesday is the highlight of the week next to this. And everybody's invited to Donut Tuesday, certainly. <laughs> it's held at Steve Seashun Park for two hours. Well, it's totally my pleasure, Mark. Jody Weber. Donut Tuesday is every Tuesday in Steve C. Shen Park in front of the old house downtown by the booth and by the whole park. For two hours, we enjoy donuts made by the city of Buffalo. Department of Coffee and Donuts. And this week, we're going to have our one and only famous 1901 glazed ring donut. It was so delicious. Reminiscent of the Midway, as you may have experienced at the Pan Am in 1901. Just the crunch that donut has. Glad you like it, Mary. I know it's Mary so does like it. I wish I wasn't out of them so I could have one for breakfast. Well, I couldn't have one last time because we got sold out. Let's go make some. I want to try out some new lard I got. <laughs> That's taking it to the next level. I think the lard might. It's going to be a special edition. Lard edition? <laughs> lard. Oh, you got that right, Mark Weber. I'm right with you on that. Well said. What did he say? 
how the old songs are just so written so well, they just stand up so well today. And arguably even nicer than the new songs, you know? I keep looking at this Crooners picture over here with Sinatra and Bing Crosby and Dean Martin. There's a song I learned from 